parasites are little buggers that like to evade the immune system. And in the headspace, two places that they actually evade the immune system are actually the tip of the nose, the nasal cavity here, and the ears. And I have to, I'm suspecting that when people get older, their ears get bigger and their nose gets bigger, because it's like the same thing as dandruff on the top of the head, but it never gets to shed, right? That mucus kind of calcifies and builds up. Same thing you see with people's eyes that bulge out a little bit, it's solidified mucus pushing on the eyeball. So there's one simple hack I like to do for the nose in particular to keep it small so that mucus isn't building up in it. And then you have solid breathing pathways because people think they have devi deviated septums when they actually don't. They just have mucosal buildup in their nose. So one thing I like to do is this. So what you want to do here is completely soak a tissue paper with the apple cider vinegar. You can even use two squares of toilet paper and you want to completely drench it with good quality apple cider vinegar. And then you want to completely hit every surface area of the inside of your nose. And you particularly want to press on the tip of your nose so that it's getting the front end and the back end. So there's no hiding spots for unfavorable pathogens. So with the apple cider vinegar, you're using the pre and probiotics that are already existing in there to harbor in the nose. They're, they're going to boost your immune system and your sinuses because of that. And you're using the vinegar to actually cut on the biofilm that might be causing mucus to build up in the nose. So it's better and more effective than hydrogen peroxide because that can actually kill off good and bad bacteria when the apple cider vinegar is increasing the pre and probiotic immune system inside your, your sinuses. And since you're kind of taking back the fluids within your nose, you can breathe more effectively, allowing oxygen to get to the brain, and that should lower the blood pressure. And uh, what this does is that actually also helps bacteria, unfavorable bacteria and parasites. It breaks their cycle, so they might come back to the sinuses because they see it as a way to evade the immune system, but they no longer go back there because they know that they're constantly being discarded from your apple cider vinegar application. To make this protocol effective, you want to have consistent days that you're doing it, so like seven days straight. And to be even more strong and effective, do it in the morning and the night before you sleep.